Joining us now, a team and a man from a team that is hoping to flex their muscles tonight against Santa Clara. BYU baseball second baseman Brennan Anderson. Brennan, welcome back to Studio B. What's up, Brennan? Fellas, good to be here. Good to be here again. Okay, your coach says this is a must-sweep series. Clearly the urgency is there for BYU baseball. How are you approaching this type of series when your coach is like, look, you need to go win three starting today? Oh, man, I mean... At, when your coach says you got to sweep somebody, I mean, you got to kick it into gear. But, I mean, we're going to go out there with a lot of energy, uh, have a lot of fun. When you have fun, you play well. So, I mean, that's the biggest thing we can do is just have a lot of energy, go out there, have fun, and take it to them. Last week was fun. You you beat Utah Valley. You, you have a great series against Pepperdine as a team. We'll get to you right, individually. Right. But um, do you guys feel uh, the momentum from that carrying over to this week? Yeah, I mean, we're playing good baseball. It's just little things here and there. I mean, get the big hit when it matters, make the plays when it matters, and then make pitches when it matters. So, I mean, once we can do that, we're going to start rolling, but we got to make that happen tonight. So, I mean, a little urgency there, but we'll do it. The issue with saying um, must sweep is that if you lose a game, you're like, oh, mm. it's a disappointment. <laughs> but um, there can be positive stress. Do you guys feel kind of yeah. motivated by it, or is it? Oh, shoot, now we're feeling it. Well, I mean, we all know where we're at. We all know what we have to do. So, I mean, him saying that, it's no, it's not news. I mean, we, we sure. knew that before. Yeah, so, I mean, there's crazy things happening in the WCC right now, so we're not out of it by, by any means. So, if we come out here with good energy, we have a little bit of urgency, get those runs across, we'll be fine. This seems like in basketball when a coach will get a tech. He'll just get mad yeah. to try and fire up his fire own team. It, up, man. it feels yeah. like Mike Littlewood's trying to do that publicly with, with the team, and uh, I'm excited for the response tonight. Now, there we do have a bit of breaking news, and uh, you're finding <laughs> this out with us, Brennan. Uh, yeah. The baseball series has been <clears throat> at least moved from Saturday to Friday, so there will be a Friday doubleheader at 2 and 6 Mountain Time live on BYU Radio. So you're going to okay. play two on Friday against Santa Clara. <laughs> what do thanks you think? For, thanks for telling me. All right. <laughs> Double headers. Awesome. Yeah, that it's is, going to be gnarly weather, happening. apparently. Yeah, okay. Um, so they're moving it up. Tonight, obviously, the weather appears to be fine for uh, the opener against Santa Clara. What do you know about the Broncos? I mean, and how much do you scout your West Coast Conference opponents? I mean, we, we know about every single team. We know that they're a team that can get hot. They, they've played really good baseball this year. So... I mean, we can't take anybody for granted. It doesn't matter, I mean, whether they're supposed to finish last or first. Obviously, we can see that that's not the way things are ending up. So, I mean, we got to go out there as if they're a team that's going to finish at the top and, and take it to them. Okay, la last week was an incredible week for you. You start Tuesday at Utah Valley. Yeah. And you hit a grand slam. You're the leadoff hitter hitting a grand <laughs> slam. What was have you hit a grand slam before? Uh, I think since I've been back from my mission, I've hit one every year. So, really? One yeah. every year? So bases loaded, that's my, that's my thing. Yeah. Wow. What was, that, what was that like to hit one in Orem against UVU there? Oh, I mean, coming off the Gonzaga series, getting things, I guess, back going, and to finally get a pitch that I liked, and I did what I wanted with it. So. You in those about, anthracite yeah. uniforms. Yeah, it's, it's those jerseys for sure. You took about 20 seconds, apparently, to get around. Did you, the senior yeah. crowd when you hit a grand slam, right? Well, they were saying it took me 45 seconds, and I was like, no way, I'm not that slow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like to take my time. You don't hit a grand slam oh, yeah. all the time. So I'm, I told him I was shooting for two minutes, but that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalk you, around. Yeah. You would have been, been beamed the next yeah. time around. Yeah, hey, I get on base, so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all of this uh, having worked through a pretty significant foot injury, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that there are some lingering effects from that. How does your foot and overall health uh, feel at this point? I, I feel good. Um, I I can't. I don't know, like percentage wise, what I'd say, but not. I mean, I can play my game. It, it doesn't affect me. I can run, still bases. Coach doesn't. He still gives me stills. So I mean, I feel fine. And I guess we'll we'll figure out what's wrong with it at the end of the season. But now nah, we're good. With the turf field, how have you adapted? Uh, not only being a fielder, but being a mm -hmm. base runner on turf. Um, when it gets wet, you have to slide early because you just go launching. But uh, I mean. Fielding is awesome. I don't wear balls in the face anymore, so get good hops. And then running, um, you're a lot faster, which is, that's nice. So You're faster on the turf. On the turf, yeah. Because you, 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 uh, you dig into something. Yeah, like there's a lot of traction. Uh, the grass isn't slipping out from under your feet. So. Nice. Yeah. 
Career 324 batter, Brennan Anderson, second baseman for BYU Baseball. 18 career home runs as well. We just showed you that grand slam on BYU TV against Utah Valley. Last season, it was all about the consistency from this team. Mm-hmm. You lost the opening series to LMU, and then you won every other series, eight in a row or seven in a row until you lost at Gonzaga. Yeah. You want to get back to that. Yeah. What's the key to creating the consistent, uh, I guess, feeling or atmosphere within a yeah. baseball program? I mean, baseball is such a weird game, but I think it's confidence. I mean, you have to go out there. We know we can put together a good baseball game. We've been putting together a good baseball game. It's just having the confidence to know you can go out there and you can boat race somebody, and you can make the big plays when it matters. So I think we're kind of like teetering with that confidence right now. But once we can get that through every single one of our guys' heads and just have confidence that the guy behind you is going to pick you up, we're going to be able to get over that edge. So, I mean... It's just dis- ditch the selfishness, uh, come together as a team, and just have a lot of confidence that we can go out there and we can sweep this team for sure. This team has um, a lot of talent. So how do you how do you and you've alluded to this, but how do you maximize those talents uh, as as one group here in this specific series? Yeah, um, I mean we know what every player can do, but I think you have to be able to lean on the guy in front of you and behind you. Because if you know that the guy behind you is going to he's going to pick you up if you do something bad, and the guy in front of you is getting on base for you, you don't have that stress of I need to do this all by myself. So I think we just need to be able to lean on each other and know that the teammate next to you is going to pick you up. Does someone need to stack a bunch of hats, a la Maverick Buffo, who is with the? Gosh. Yeah, who's who's <laughs> that? Like, like who had this year, Brandon? Who's the hat stacker? I don't know if we have a hat stacker this year, but maybe we need to find one. That's for sure. <laughs> we got we got to get some kind of mojo yeah, going. Yeah, the last year you've had either a mustache or a hat stacker or something like something yeah. to loosen up, right? Yeah, I mean that's all it is. It's a, you go out there, you got to play loose. You got to have fun. And I I don't know. Maybe we need a hat stacker. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Maybe. We, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. But we'll we'll come out with some fun stuff this week for sure. All right, okay. Brennan, great to have you on the program, man. Hey, great to be here. Enjoy some BYU Sports Nation karma. Hey, go, love go that. Do your thing, as, man. as if as if a grand slam last week and seven hits against Pepperdine wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I could always use it, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Brennan. BYU Santa Clara tonight, eight Eastern, six Mountain on BYU TV and BYU Radio.